Hi everyone, I'm Carrie and this is my husband Reed and we live in Hawaii. Today my sister Kathy will be sharing with us how she makes okonomiyaki which is a Japanese style pancake. Our family loves to try and make traditional Japanese dishes together especially for our 97 year old grandma. As always, thank you so much for watching and we hope you enjoy! Hi everyone, so today we're going to be making okonomiyaki and okonomi uh, literally means to one's liking and so it's a Japanese ja it's a Japanese dish that actually I the first time I tried okonomiyaki was when um, I visited my sister who lived in Japan for three years. The style that we're going to be making is filled with pork so we'll be, we'll be putting pork in there as well and some other things. We also like um, mochi and cheese so it's going to be really exciting a lot of fun and uh, we're eating with the family again which also makes it very enjoyable but this is our first time making this and one of the inspirations behind why we wanted to make okonomiyaki is because we really like going to Chibo's which is a restaurant in Hawaii that sells okonomiyaki and it's just it's always really delicious so I wanted to make it at home today for the first time and we're really excited about that so stay tuned! First stop is to Marukai, a Japanese grocery store that we have on island. To shop at Marukai before, you needed to have a membership. However, they recently opened the store to the public. So we're learning that there's different ways that you can make okonomiyake. There's this ready-to-go set that comes with um, the sauce and the flakes and the nori and the mix. There's just the flour, which we're gonna buy and try. And the flour it comes with a suggested recipe. There's also this suggested flour. This is a bit more expensive for less of the flour mix. But we'll give it a shot. We'll do a homemade one and then a pre-mixed one and see which one tastes better. Here are some of our finds at Madukai, which you probably cannot get at a regular grocery store. Actually, okonomi in Japanese means like the leftovers, so I guess technically it's like whatever you have in your fridge. But the base, the base of okonomiyaki is cabbage. And then, you know, you have some other things you add to, to get it to stick together because it's, Jap it's essentially a What's Japanese pancake. So, um, yeah, yeah, chopped up cabbage and then you, you know can put... To, you know how to cook that? Yeah, a little bit. I'm not really yeah. prof professional. You put flour in there, some egg. Um, and you can add toppings like pork, um, I like mochi, mochi and cheese, that's my, my favorite. Um, some, some varieties you can put, you can add um, yakisoba and that, that's really good too. So yeah, there's all kinds of things, oh yeah, of course, uh, green onions, all, all kinds of things you can add. And it's, it's, one of, it's one of my favorite Japanese dishes. Yeah. Cabbage. And then we're going to do this two ways. We have a pre-mix, so we're going to cheat and do with pre well, uh, prepared okonomiyaki flour that has everything in it and then we're gonna make it the regular way which is like starting from scratch with base flour all-purpose flour and then mixing the rest of the ingredients in right. so we won't tell people which one's which mm. oh. here are the ingredients when making okonomiyaki from scratch I will also list them in the description box below Grandma, what is nagai mo? Long potato. And what, what did you use it for before? Long. Nagai. Long. Yeah. Together. So we're adding the egg to the cabbage. Um, Kathy's adding in one cup of flour to the bowl and 5.6 ounces approximately of nagaimo or Japanese 
yam, and I'm like a potato. But the last time, can you tell everybody what happened? I just had a re allergic reaction to the um, nagaimo, so I, it was like my hands were being eaten up. Actually, I'm gonna explain that. Kathy felt like her hands were being eaten when she <laughs> shredded the nagaimo. So I guess you have to be careful. This is, what is this? This is the salt. Fourth oh, yeah. teaspoon of salt. Just a baking powder. And a fourth teaspoon of baking powder. And wow. sugar. And a fourth This kind of seems like a sugar. Delicious. Yeah? You like cabbage, Mark? Um, all, with um, how we go for Is it? A fourth cup. A fourth cup of, approximately a fourth cup of ginger. Yeah, half cup. Ooh. Half cup of the tempura flakes. And some green onion. Okay, so um, Kathy, we say that she is like, she knows because she lived in Japan for three years with the debt program. So when you lived in Japan, did you, um, did you cook this often or did you eat this often? I, I like to eat it often, but not cook it often. <laughs> I think I made it maybe once or twice. But this, but this pot that you got from Japan, right? This pot I got from, <clears throat> it's from Japan. But we mostly use it for nabe. So it wasn't really important. So which one do you like better? Do you like the noodle, the Hiroshima okonomiyaki, or I the like... Osaka okonomiyaki? Um... There's this one place that we used to like to go to that actually had it wasn't like it wasn't like the thin noodles like the Hiroshima yaki but it had like a really good yakisoba on top. So that was my favorite. It's called like modern okonomiyaki or something. Modern okonomiyaki. Modern, modern like more modern. Okay, so now um, Kathy said that it's ready. We're gonna add the pork. So when you do okonomi okonomiyaki, um, you're gonna add pork on top and you can add other things too. So today we're, we have um, we have pork belly that we're gonna put in. And we also have shrimp, possibly if you want shrimp. Ooh, shrimp. And our favorite that we like to get when we go to restaurants is uh, mochi cheesy. So we have uh, like dried, is this dried mochi? Like dried mochi and um, mozzarella. What makes really good okonomiyaki, of course, is the sauce and mayonnaise. Very key. Feels great, like I've been doing this for years <laughs> in Japan. Okay, so now we're gonna make the batter, the okonomiyaki, the, the, the mix that already came prepared. So in that, we're putting a whole head of cabbage. We're using one cup of this mix. We're gonna be using the same, so four eggs. And we're also gonna be putting in here some green onions and then we're going to be putting in some red ginger we're going to be putting in about half a cup of this and two cups of water And we mix. When you buy the okonomiyaki flour, there are a couple of less steps, like you don't have to shred the Japanese yam, so it might be worth it to do so. But keep watching to see how it tastes.
So we were able to find some old kimchi, and old in the sense that it, um, the sell-by date was probably the end of December, so it's maybe a month old. Um, but kimchi, as everybody knows, is fermented, and the longer you leave it out, the better it is. So my grandmother on my dad's side, when she used to make kimchi, she would leave it out. I remember like on the windowsill and just let that thing ferment, stink up the whole house. And that's basically what this has become. It's very sour, very stink, and it's gonna be so good. We're gonna put it on top of the okonomiyaki. And uh, we're gonna make a hybrid Japanese-Korean okonomiyaki, just like me. Very delicious. I really like the red ginger in the batter. That really adds a lot. And I think the negaimo, the yams, um, that really makes it stick together. But this one in particular has um, shrimp and has some mochi and cheese and, and pork. So it's really, really delicious. And it has so many flavors. Um, the nori flakes on top and the katsu, katsu bushi. Is that what it's called? Katsuoboshi on the top. Um, just adds a lot of love, a good flavor. I love it. Very good. I like all the combination of the different flavors. And um, because it's like the mochi makes it like chewy. And then of course, you know, you have your cabbage, but kind of the blend of all the tastes. And, and the sauce, of course, is always good. So. Great. <clears throat> I have pork, kimchi, and shrimp, along with cheese. It's good. I haven't tried this before, but it's good still. This is so good. We've had I've had konomiyaki in Japan, and this is even better. It's really oishi, mono. I like all the different flavors inside. It's really awesome. Mmm. Mommy, can I have a sausage? Very, very good. This is my favorite sausage. Okay. Reminds me of um, when we went to Japan. Mmm. <laughs> good. Oh, not very graceful. <laughs> good. Very good. Mommy, mommy. Yeah, no, it tastes like one, because I would love to say that it tastes like the one I had in Japan, but I didn't have it in Japan. Typical Howley, I had it in New York. <laughs> but it was very good. Yeah, this is even better. It's uh, very flavorful. There's not too much um, cabbage. Sometimes the cabbage is it. But, um, a lot of flavor, a lot of shrimp. Mm -hmm. Delish. Thank you. How is it? How does it taste? Mm. I honestly, we don't know which is which. <laughs> so we didn't separate them. However, I just, the one that I just ate, it tasted a little more salty. So I think that that may be the one that was the packaged already. But I'm not, I'm not, there's no way to make that sure. I'm not sure about that. But they both taste, they all taste good. Thank you so much for watching Okonomiyaki tonight. I hope you enjoyed our video and please subscribe if you like videos like this and please comment down below and a thumbs up, and a thumbs up uh, if, if you have suggestions on what our family should make and eat. See you in the next one! <laughs>
Oh. What? Actually, you, it's after you flip it. You put it on. That's okay. That's okay. Good. You know how? You know how? It's okay. It's okay. You, you Even know. the meat? No, 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 no. Um, it's okay. It's alright. Ah. This is camera number two. Say hi. Hi. Try this. Try this. Try this. Japanese baby. Mm. Is it good? <laughs> Is it good? Hey. Oh. oh, you want crackers? What did she do? Aww, she wants the crackers. Hi, Hi Grandma. Grandma. I just want to check. <laughs> so many things.